What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video and a quick update on APXT and Avpoint stock. So I don't wanna make this video too long, I simply just wanna get right into it and to the point, and I wanna talk a little bit more about APXT's valuation and if I believe that the prices we're seeing at right now, if it's possibly a good time to invest. And I also have a very important announcement to make, which is I'm planning on interviewing APXT's co-CEO, Jeff Epstein, who is someone who is heavily involved in this merger between APXT and Avpoint. So I want some of your participation. If you have a question that you want me to ask Jeff during my interview, make sure to leave your comment in the comment section below. I have a variety of questions that I already have that I want to personally ask him, but I want uh, to hear from you guys as well. So if you have a question that you want me to ask him during my interview, make sure to leave that in the comment section below and I would love to hear a little bit more about that. But before I get into the video, if you are new to this channel, on this channel we talk about day trading, swing trading, long-term investing, as well as current stock market updates. So if any of that seems interesting to you at all, make sure that subscribe button down below. And also, if you get some value in this video today, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps the video out, and it helps the channel grow. So thank you in advance for doing that. So over the past year, SPAC stocks have really been all over the place. There's been a lot of hype in SPAC stocks. And then also over the last couple of months, that hype is starting to die down a little bit. And SPAC stocks really just weren't the best investment because a lot of them were extremely overpriced and they were overvalued. And it just didn't really make sense for me personally to put my money in some of these companies. But after looking at Apex Technology Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol APXT, um, and the Avpoint merger, it seems that this stock is a lot more fairly priced compared to some of the other special purpose acquisition companies on the market. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later in this video today. But after this merger was actually announced towards the later half of 2020, the stock was actually, it popped up over 30%. It was trading a bit over $15 a share. But over the last couple of months, this stock has started to uh, pull back a little bit. But more recently, it started to change that direction back to the upside. So I really believe that it's opening up a very interesting opportunity for many investors. So Fpoint is actually a third party data management provider to the world's largest cloud software platform aka the Microsoft Cloud. And I don't want to get into too much depth of exactly what Fpoint does as a company, but something that I do want to touch on in this video today is some of their previous earnings. So in the fourth quarter earnings for 2020, they had revenues of $38.8 million, which shot up over 19% on a year-over-year -year basis. And they also had a total annual recurring revenue of $129.2 million, which grew 33% from the same period the year prior. And their software as a service revenues were up 78% to $18.3 million. So based on this performance alone, they are expected to have revenues in 2021 of around $194 million. So it's very safe to say that we're seeing some very solid growth in this company so far, and that growth is only going to continue moving on in the future. But like I said, over the last couple of months, we've been seeing that the stock price uh, kind of pull back a little bit, and the bull case for APXT, in my personal opinion, and F-Point remain the same, and the merger, uh, with the merger expecting to close very, very shortly in the next month or so, um, I'm anticipating some very exciting stuff over the next couple of months in APXT and Avpoint stock. So with all that being said, and some of the current news that's kind of going on with this company, I now want to jump inside of my computer screen and begin to break down exactly what I'm seeing right now from the technical analysis and where I expect the stock to go just based on the charts and the technical. So let's jump inside of my computer right now and begin to break that down. All right, everyone, so we're inside of my computer screen now looking at ticker symbol APXT. So before I get into the technical analysis and I exactly explain what I've been seeing with the technicals over the last couple of days and where we're at right now, I wanna share with you an article that actually came out today. So uh, this is um, saying a collaboration, a workplace collaboration survey reveals 75% of companies deployed Microsoft Teams without proper governance or security. It says the pandemic induced a rush to digital collaboration that left over three quarters of businesses leveraging Office 365 and 97% communicating via Microsoft Teams exposed to potential risk. And this is where Avpoint comes into play because Avpoint can really help with those um, with their services that they provide to really reduce the amount of risk that a lot of these businesses might have by using Microsoft Teams. So um, I'm not gonna read this whole article, but I really do believe it's important to kind of go through a little bit and have a 
better understanding of exactly what they talked about and what they found in this survey. Um, but I really believe it was really interesting. And just some things it stated was since the speed of deployment was crucial to workplace and productivity, three quarters of organizations deployed Microsoft Teams without proper governance or security in place, leaving them vulnerable to internal and external threats. Nearly all 95% of companies believe they are compliant with internal and external regulations. Similarly, only 7% lacks confidence that their digital collaboration deployment was secure from data leaks and unorthodox access. So consistent with over 145 million daily active users on Teams, Microsoft recently announced, AppPoint found that only 3% of companies do not leverage Teams today. Further regular Office 365 usage jumped from nearly half, 48% pre-pandemic, to now over three quarters. So a lot more people are using uh, Microsoft services and with that, there's a lot more of those um, businesses or the people that use those services that are prone to really um, have risk uh, by using those those services for a variety of different things. And that's where AppPoint comes into play because they can really help with that. And if you just go down to some of the, the parting comments, it says, as more companies adopt cloud-based tools for digital collaborations, it is becoming increasingly important to understand the data created and who has access to it. Even as companies return to hybrid work environments, scaling management, governance, and compliance remains very, very important. So if I just go back to the charts, I wanna simply just go over this very, very quickly. I don't wanna spend too much time on the technicals because really not too much of it has changed. So if we just go to the 20 day, one hour chart, the one thing that I really wanna point out is that it's still inside of this uh, this channel that we're seeing, this ascending upward direction channel. So it actually reached lows back here uh, towards the middle of May. So May 11th, it reached lows of around $9.83 a share. So it kind of ended that rejection phase. And then for a little bit, of time it was kind of going through that consolidation phase before it started to change that direction back to the upside where it was making higher highs and higher lows and we could see that very very clear here inside of this channel so we could see the highs the lows the highs the lows the highs the lows and like i stated previously in my video that i made in regards to APXT, I was really hoping that it was going to either um, hold above this 180-day SIFO moving average indicator on this 20-day, one-hour chart, but even more importantly, hold above this ascending upward direction channel and stay trading inside of this channel. And that's exactly what it did. And then it pushed up and it broke above this previous resistance level here at around $11 a share, and it actually reached its highs of $11.39 a share today. So. If I just extend these to the right a little bit more, we can see that it's kind of approaching that higher level um, on this ascending upward direction channel. And just based on previous uh, price action history, whenever we get to those levels where it looks to be a little bit overbought, looking at the MACD and looking at the RSI, it makes sense for it to pull back a little bit more. So what I'm expecting moving forward into the future, is it pulling back a little bit? And I'm gonna see if it holds above this uh, critical level as a new support because all old resistances tend to be new supports and that would be around $11 price range. But if it does continue to fall, I think the next possible support will be here at around $10.85 a share. Um, and if it does pull back a little bit even more to that, I would like to see it hold above this 180 day simple moving average indicator. So there's a variety of different um, critical levels that I'm expecting it to hold within the next couple of days, but I wouldn't be surprised if this pulls back a little bit just based on how overbought it does seem. And something that I also wanna note is right here on this critical level around $11 a share, if I just go to the one day, one minute chart, we can see that very, very closely when it actually pushed up above $11 a share, it ripped all the way up to $11.40 a share, so around three to 4% gain. So uh, that just really um, shows me that that is a very um, important level that it broke. And then once it did break, a lot more buyers got into it. And when a lot more buyers got into it, it pushed the price uh, the stock price up even higher. And then towards the end of the day, it just kind of consolidated. So I'm really excited to kind of see how this plays out moving forward to the remainder of the week. But I simply just wanted to update you on exactly what I'm seeing right now and what I'm looking for in the next couple of days in regards to APXT stock. All right, everyone. So hope you enjoyed this video just going over APXT and AFPoint stock. And just another quick reminder, if you're someone who has a question that you want me to ask APXT's 
co-CEO in my interview with him later this week. Make sure to comment your question down below in the comment section. I already have a variety of questions that I personally want to ask, but I definitely want to hear from you guys to see if you have any underlying questions that you want me to ask in the interview. And of course, if you did enjoy this video and you learned a little bit more about APXD or about investing in general, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Join the channel, join the community, and I would love to have you a part of the channel. So that's all I have for you in this video today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.